Hey guys, how you doing? This is Sasha Chapman here, your Tech Jedi, and I'm going to give you the top six reasons why your place of website isn't working for you. All right, like always, if this is your time, your first time watching here on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, smash the notification, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Love real estate. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. The six reasons why your place of website isn't working. Okay, so first things first, this is my website, chatmerealtygroup.com. Now, let me explain. This is a place of website, but when people go through it, I've had this question before. It don't look like Placer. Well, yeah, because I have a brand code overlay to make it super pretty, A. And then B, um, I have the upgraded version of places, not the free version that we get with Keller Williams. So if you scroll through my website, yes, it has movement. My video of the week pops up here. If you scroll through the tiles here, they look really cool. I'll make a video about using brand code later, okay? So if you're at Family Union right now, then you're probably seeing them right there, okay? So it's really cool. They make a really nice website, and I designed it the way I wanted it. But let's talk about why your website isn't working. Okay, reason number one, you're not using your actual place to website. So many people come to me and say, hey, Sasha, can you fix my website? And don't realize that ain't their website. <laughs> you know, we actually have three websites. OK, so I'm going to explain this. So if you go to technology, hover over KW websites and then click on that, it's going to take you to the back page. Just go to my website. That is going to take you to your Playster website. OK. OK, another reason why your website isn't working out for you is because you don't really have anything on your website's not set. So this is what I mean. You're in the back end of Placer. I'm assuming you guys know how to get there. You saw me do it earlier. We're going to click on edit right here in the middle. This is going to take me to the beginning of Placer, if you will. OK, so my logo, I see so many people who don't have the logos updated. OK, they don't have that on there. They don't have their content filled out here. You need to take the time to fill this stuff out. You need a meta title and description. If you don't have that, something that people are searching for, your site's never going to be found in the first place. So this is reason number two why your website's not working for you. All right, reason number three. This is a big one. Your site's not hooked up to your MLS. OK, that is a big one. All right, so let me show you how you, how you check, this, check this out. Let's go into edit site. Right. When you go to edit site, go to IDX integration. When you do that, it's either turned on or off. A lot of times people have KWLS, okay, or whatever their board is. Mine is Netris. So here's the deal. You need to make sure your board is turned on. If you, all you have on your site is KWLS, that means only thing your site is going to show is KW listings. Right. And if it's missing, then you need to go contact your market center right now and figure out why is it missing. Use is because there's an IDX form that needs to be signed. Okay, buy your market center and give it to your board, one thing, one or the other, something like that. Okay, but this is a big one. Reason number four why your website isn't working. <sighs> Global filters. I see this all the time when I look at new agents' websites. Always new agents, but sometimes people have been in the game for a minute too. You go to their website, and when you look on their search, they, you have everything in the MLS on your website. I mean everything. Like there's nothing filtered out. So every county that you can find, everything. And people say, oh, that's a good thing. Not really. Not when they can go to any agent site to find homes. But when they go to your site, they're looking at $65 million properties of land. I would love to be able to sell a $65 million property of land. But guess what? Uh, it ain't happened yet. You know, I keep my fingers crossed. So go to Global Filters. Now, this is a powerful tool. You can change your site how you want. For example, I made mine two bedrooms. OK, I limited my price at two point five million and I pulled these counties in here. How do you do this? If I go down and go to search criteria, I can drop down and I can toggle through all these options of to reducing the size that I want to have in here. Reason number five why your website is not working for you is because this is the biggest one. You have no content, no content whatsoever. OK, so let's just say your website is nothing but listings. That's great. But you have nothing on the internal pages, nothing out there. So this is what I mean, guys. If you go to my website or you go to my seller resources or buyer resources and hey, big bar still, I don't care. 
you know, a lot of my stuff is branded though, so you can put my branded stuff on your site if you want to. Appreciate it. But when people come to my website, I have a video of welcoming themselves here. I have information. These are all clickable links that's going to take them somewhere else about on my website that I have built. I have a video out there that I've put up probably a while back now, how to build pages on your website. So that's one thing. Two, blogs. I have tons of blogs out there as well, but you have to put this information out there. You've got to blog a little bit. You can find it from Branco, you name it. It's real easy to blog. Uh, maybe I'll make a video for you guys about that. Okay, guys, and here is the last reason why your website's not working for you. Let's say you have listings out there or you have an area that you're working and you want to target that. You put information out on Facebook and you tell people to go to your website, but your website's not set up that way. So same thing as Global Filters. You're going to go to Featured Listings, click on it, and you're going to basically target this into the way that you want to. All right, guys, these are the top six reasons why your website is not working for you. Make sure you check out my other videos that I have about Playster. I have a ton out there that's going to be able to help you and get ready. I am Sasha Chapman, your Tech Jedi. If you have any questions, hit me up, text me, 817-668-0311. I will answer your question or just email me, whatever. But make sure that you like my video and you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Go sell some houses. Bye.